Hello, this is a four mover by Eric Zeppler. Eric Zeppler was born in 1898, went to England in 1935 and died in 1980. In England he was a great scientist and a very uh, important composer of the 20th century. Here is uh, a very fine form mover and uh, you are invited to solve it. It is worth the effort. So in the meantime I, I give some hints in order to help you to have uh, an idea what happens here and then we'll see some tries, some other hints and then we'll have the solution. So here it is. The king on g4 is completely closed. h5 is blocked by the pawn. g5 is controlled by the pawn on h4. The squares on the f5 are controlled by the queen. f3 and f5 are controlled only by the queen. And f4 is controlled also by the queen and by the knight and h4 is controlled by the white knight g2 and uh, of course uh, h3 and g3 are controlled by the king. Uh, mate is theoretically possible on f4 but the rook is controlling the square and then at the diagram you have no mate. Of course you cannot take the rook because there is no black move and then if you take the rook it will be stalemate. You are invited to solve now. I show some some interesting tries in order to understand what happens here. So the first try is queen f2 because queen f2 controls h4 and therefore threatens knight to e3 mate. But then the rook is able to come to e4 and then controlling the two squares e3 and f4 and white has no waiting move. White cannot move anything that would keep the queen guarding h4 and also keeping all the jail of the black king so white is uh, stuck. Another try, a little bit more complex but interesting, is queen f1. Queen f1 threatens to go to d3 that controls both f5 and f3 and then to go to h3 mate because from h3 the queen controls also f3 and f5 and the rook will still not be able to go to the third rank in order to, to defend because of a mate on e4 instead of f4 if we play queen f1 the rook simply can go to d4 Another try is queen to f6, waiting, and then the only move that would be uh, efficient for black is rook to c4. And you are still uh, invited to solve now, and I give immediately the solution. The solution is queen to f7. Queen to f7 is waiting and also giving an eye to c4 and we'll see how it works. The rook has now to go because it is black to play. So the rook cannot go to e4 if rook e4 will play queen f2 and the black will be obliged to give white a possible painting one. 
So first, let's say rook to d4. Rook to d4 is followed by queen f1, aiming at d3. If the rook goes back, queen d3, threatening to mate on h3. And if the rook goes to b3, queen e4. Of course, if the rook goes to e4 immediately, you will not play queen to d3 because of rook e3, but you may play queen f2. Tsuk Tsong, they cannot move without leaving or e3 or f4. Another move is rook to c4. That's why the queen came to f7. You can take it. Check. You leave two flights. If the king goes to f5, you have queen d5 check. The king has no flight but has to go back to g4. And then queen e4 mate. And if the king, after the check, went to f3, now you have queen to c2. That is keeping an eye to e2, f2, and e4. And then the king has to go back to g4 and then queen e4 mates. The only square we did not look yet at it is rook takes on a4. In fact, you have queen f2 threatening mate on e3. So black has to come back to e4. And now, because the pawn on a4 disappeared, you can play pawn a3, a4, and then black has to play, and you will be able to play or knight e3 or queen f4 mate. That's all. A very nice, very precise, very well done for movers, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you for the next problem later. Bye. Thank you.